As consumers, we're all concerned about how the food we eat is produced. Pesticide applications are necessary to prevent pests and diseases, but we're concerned that they contaminate our environment and leave residues on our food. I'm here in San Michele, Italy, to find out how Isofruit is trying to address these issues in fruit production. In orchards, pesticides are usually applied regardless of the actual health status of the crop, and the amounts applied are not altered in response to the size or the shape of fruit trees. Conventional sprayers have no ability to alter application rates in response to environmental conditions such as wind speed or direction. Researchers in the EU-funded Isofruit project have developed the Crop Adapted Spray application, which has a crop identification system able to detect the size and shape of the crop canopy, an environmentally dependent application system which helps to reduce the volumes of pesticide applied in response to environmental conditions, and a crop health sensor which will detect the health status of fruit trees. What's the overall aim of this project in Isofruit? Well, the main aim is uh, to be able uh, to develop a sprayers that uh, can apply only where is necessary, try to take care as much as possible of uh, environmental aspects, and also to give uh, enough safety fruits. That means uh, not uh, to put uh, too much uh, pesticide on the apple, on the fruit. So this is the crop identification system component of the sprayer. Could you tell me how it works? Yes, this uh, free uh, device, our sonar sensor, we are able to, through a sonar signal, to determine the presence of a target of a, and also the intensity of a canopy. And in function of the presence of a canopy, they make it working and open the noses only where the target is present and they adjust the volume in function of the density of the canopy. They don't not only adjust the volume, but also adjust the air volume. So they adapted the spray application to the canopy density. So why have you developed this environmentally dependent application system? Uh, because um, when we spray in the orchards, we always create drift. And drift is contaminating the orchard surroundings. And in orchard surroundings, there might be sensitive areas like lakes, ponds, or other surface water. With this system, we're able to switch between fine spray nozzles to coarse spray nozzles. Coarse spray nozzles, they produce bigger droplets, heavier droplets that are less prone to drift. And this happens automatically uh, according to the wind uh, velocity and wind direction. When the wind exceeds a certain value, for example, two meters per second, the nozzles will automatically switch from fine to coarse spray. And what is the other component of the EDAS system? The other important component is a fan that is responsible for pr production of other important parameters during the spray, which is airflow, supporting the spray to uh, penetrate uh, uh, the crop canopy. Uh, again, according to the wind situation and position of the sprayer in orchard, we can independently, and this is unique for this system, independently adjust the airflow to the left and right side. So can you tell me more about the crop health sensor? The crop health sensor is the final part of the sprayer you've just seen, and it's uh, meant to look at the uh, plants which has disease on it, like this leaf. So how does it work? It looks at uh, the light emitted from the leaves and it uh, can uh, see if the, if the plant is, uh, has a disease or is healthy. And what will that enable the sprayer to do? Well, it's, it's, it's just the, the, the major step forward. It just sprays when it's necessary. In Italy, more than 100 people registered to see the isofruit sprayer in action. Future work within the Isofruit project will focus on finalising the development of software to control all of the processes performed by the CASA system, carrying out field experiments to evaluate the obtained effects in terms of application quality, biological efficacy and the reduction of environmental pollution. The sprayer is currently on a tour of Europe to demonstrate the future of pesticide application in orchards. For more information, please visit the Isofruit website www.isofruit.eu